what up guys, it's Alex here, and I'm here to show you guys a brand new class. It is called Flame Dragon Warrior. You can get this class by being a founder in the newest mobile app game called AQ Dragon. So, I'll first show you guys the brand new shop they have for it. So, as soon as I find- okay, here it is. Here's the icon. It will look like this on your character page too. And, um, so you, the items you can get is this cool blade here. You can also get a pole arm, pretty cool. Of course, the class, an armor of the class. If it purchases, um, a helmet, um, a dragon morph that looks kind of more demonic, and some wings, which look pretty sick, right? Okay, so now that I got all the items, we'll get right down to the class. So here we go. Class, I start out with 512 attack power, 132 spell power. This class is a melee type, it's physical, it's not based on wizard damage, but physical. And so here's its basic stats. So yeah, it's got some good strength, endurance, a little bit of dexterity. Its hit is on um, 93.53, um, haste is 10.94, critical 23.59, evasion 19.3, Sorry if I'm like losing my voice, but I'm kind of sick still, so. Um, so they gain mana when they, um, get crits in combat or struck by an enemy. And so here we go. We'll get down to the first skill, and I'm using pure stable, so this is full stable, so. 261 to 262 full stable. And here we go. So it's auto attacks do around 878 damage on crits. It's two skill does around... 280, 298 um, non-crit, and um, what it does, so when it crits, it almost hits 1,000, which is really nice, and so this skill, it can hit up to three targets, so how can it hit up to three targets? I was just hitting it right there. Why didn't it hit three? Well, here. The thing is, even though it says it hits three targets, they have to be all really close, so here, let me show you. I'll bring these guys down here so once they all come down there we go I do my um two skill and it hits all three of them so even though it says it hits three targets they all have to be in really close range so melee range okay and so um the next skill is um called burn of acrylo oh my gosh acrylot I don't know if I said that right 25 minus 15 second cooldown this is your damaging um skill it's based on the amount of stacks your Dragon Roar has. So, the more stacks you have, the more damage it does. And so, um, it also has a chance to do... Oh, no, I mean, it does do an, a dot also, which is 400% of your weapon damage over 10 seconds. And you have a 25% chance to stun your opponents for 6 seconds. If it says the um, skill, Smoldering Smoke. So here, I'll do it without any um, stacks. Without any stacks, I will do zero damage because I have no damage stacks, which should be pretty obvious. So, um, and now I'm going to get one stack on it. So that's one. And then I'll do the skill and I missed. Oh, sad day. Okay, let's retry that again. Do -do. Wait until we get off cooldown. The cooldowns are pretty, um, crazy on this class, so. Okay, I'll try it again. One stack, and boom. I do around 322 damage non-crit. So that's okay-ish. So I'll wait until it goes away. Or the stacks. Okay, there we go. And, um, there we go. And, oh, I tried to get a crit. Okay, whatever. So you guys can see what it does with just one stack. And now I just stack it twice. So, oh boy, the dodges are real. Okay, one. Um, two, boy. Yo, these guys are trolling me. There we go. And then... <laughs> oh, boy, this is gonna be a pain. Um, as long as they don't dodge the skill, I should be able to show you guys. So here, let me try to get one. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. You know you want to get hit. Okay, there we go. So there's two stacks, and I do around 2,000 damage. There we go. Now I'll stack up to three times. So one, two, and um, <clears throat> three. Okay, there we go. 
3 stacks, I do 4.3k damage. So there we go. Finally, I can show you guys. So the most stacks you can have in this class is 3 stacks. So 0 stacks do, does around 0 damage. 1 stack does around 322 non-crit. Probably around 1k crit. 2 stacks is 2000 damage. And um, probably a 1, maybe less than 1k non-crit. And then 3 stacks is around 4.3k. So pretty much you can think of that as doubling each time. So first time 0 to 300, to 1000, to 2000, to 4000, okay? So that's pretty cool. Next is the 4 skill Dragon Strength. It does, it's, does moderate damage. It applies a blaze, which um, increases your strength by 25% and gives you a pretty good buff, which you get a buff of 40% and you get that for around 15 seconds. So yeah, here we go. Bah! I just did zero damage. So why did I do zero damage? It's based on your stacks once again. And so I'm not gonna go through the process of doing those three stacks again because that is a bit tedious. So I'll just get straight down the three stacks and do the skill. There we go. I did around 893 non-crit. It does around 3.8k crit. So um, that's really good. I think it's 3.8k. Let me try it again just to confirm it, you know. J just so I don't forget. Well, okay. Okay, non-crit. Well, it's around 3.9k, 3.8k for sure. And so, um, the last skill is Burning Rage. All this is, is just an extra damage over time. It does 350% of your weapon damage over 8 seconds. So, it doesn't, like, if you get stacks, it doesn't really do anything extra. It just does the damage over time so I missed oh why does this keep happening but yeah so this class overall it has no hill skills if you guys are wondering it's more of a tank class a tank um heavy damage dealing class that's what I would call it so there you go and 193 damage over time pretty decent so yeah it's not I wouldn't say this is the best class it's not the best soloer it kind of fells in that kind of lacking in that department if you know what I mean um it's a really good farming class because you're gonna hit up the three targets and um I haven't tried in PvP but this seems like a pretty decent class in PvP if I say so myself so some tips and tricks with this class real quick so when you're fighting some enemies what you want to do is you know how long it took me to get those freaking three stacks well here's an easier way what you want to do is bring all these guys close together so get them all to attack you, even though that might hurt. Then you get three stacks instantly, and boom, you can start doing damage right away. See? So yeah, that's pretty much some tips and tricks. So some combos I recommend when you're fighting. Try and stack your um, two skill up. And then you do your three skill. And then you do your four skill, and then you do your five. So just two, three, four, five. Why? Here's the reason why. Two, get your stacks up, of course. Three you use those stacks to do extra damage and you don't even consume those stacks so they're still there four it consumes your stacks but then you get a buff and extra strength buff and with that buff if you do your five skill your damage over time is increased by a little bit so you get extra damage and then you start the process over again so that's a pretty simple process and so um i think i'm not gonna even solo this class is really bad at soloing but, you know what, let's try it, while I um, explain the class in further detail. So, um, some passives it has is the 5 dragon scales. It gives you 30% spell resistance, which is extremely good. Like, if, just saying. And, um, dragon's blood, it gives you 30% uh, more endurance, which is always amazing. So, um, yeah. And as you guys can notice, my health was 2.8k. That's a lot of HP, if I say so myself. And so on this class on mana, I would say it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty decent. The thing is, it doesn't crit that often, so you might be like, Ugh, why can't I crit? So, yeah, mana might be a little issue. Unless you're a farming and you're hitting three targets, then it won't be a problem. And so, um, for the enchantments for this class, I recommend to try some strength or fighter enchantments. That's pretty good on the class. Um, I would also recommend you guys to use some luck. 
that's really good too. And I think those two would be the best for this class. Like, Thief would be okay. I mean, like, you got a high enough hit chance already, and you have an okay evasion. So, I mean, it's not going to do that much of a difference, if you ask me. So, yeah. Ooh, I don't know if I can beat this guy. I'm getting close, but yeah, I don't think the defense is going to be good enough. Ooh, I think I can clutch. Yeah, I can clutch. Okay, if I beat this guy... Oh, crap, I forgot to stack. Waste of mana, crap. Okay. So, um, my overall thoughts on the class is that it's an okay class. Was it worth 10 bucks? Eh, so-and-so. Okay, I died. Whatever. So, it's a so-and-so class. I mean, it's okay, I guess. But, yeah. So, um, soloing, it sucks. Downright, it sucks down. I'm sorry about that. Farming, good, good. I like it. I like it. PvP, I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably make a video on that later when I have time after I finish studying. And um, overall, I'll rate this class mm, three out of five. Cooldowns are pretty OP, dude. Like, have you seen these cooldowns? Jeez. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide on this class, and I hope you guys kind of like it i mean it's an okay it's pretty cool it's decent you can be like um spitting fire on everyone so yeah thanks you guys for watching i hope you guys have a good day all right see ya